everyone, Lisa here. Thanks for joining me for another card video on my YouTube channel and blog. Today I am featuring Victorine Originals Red Rubber Double Take Stamp. We're just going to be using the outline portion of the stamp today. It does come with a solid image to fill in that top portion of the umbrella. I'm using Memento ink to stamp the image so I can do some Copic coloring and I'm also going to use some Versafine for the sentiment. Okay, so here we are. We're going to stamp this really quick and then we're going to do some quick coloring with our Copic markers. Now, I want to say that I used to use Express Blended Paper with my Copic markers and I've now switched over to the 80 pound Nina. It's much cheaper and I find that I get a much better blend with it. So I didn't do a lot of fancy coloring. I did just a tiny bit of shading. And the colors that I'm using are B39, B37, and B34 with a C9 to do a little bit of shading. For the greens, I'm using G24, G43, and G40. And to do shading with the green, I used G85. Okay, so here we are. We have our umbrellas colored and cut, and we're going to go ahead and create a background for these. Now, I wanted to mimic falling rain, and I wanted to use my embossing folders. I never show them enough love, so I really am trying to do that now. So this embossing folder that I have, the pattern does run side to side, but since I was doing partial embossing, I knew that I could run the pattern from top to bottom to mimic falling rain. So I'm just going to take my paper and put it into the uh, folder wherever I want it embossed. And then what I don't want embossed, I'm going to leave hanging out, as you see here. Okay, so I'm going to take this to the big kick, and first thing I'm going to do is cut them with a rectangle die so that I have nice, smooth, straight edges, and then I'll run it through with the embossing folder. That way we don't flatten out what we've already embossed by running it back through and die cutting it. So die cut first, and then emboss second. Once we finish with that, we just go ahead and bring it back to our desk. We grab our mini scoreboard. We're going to run a score line right below where we cut off that embossing. So that just is going to give us a little bit of division between what we embossed and what we're leaving smooth. Then we're going to grab our stamp positioning tool. We're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Now I'm going to use Versafine Onyx Black ink. It's my favorite ink for sentiments. And I am going to stamp the sentiment in the bottom left corner. And right there where we didn't emboss, that's where I want to put my sentiment. So I'm going to do that twice, stamp it twice, and then I'm going to change it out and stamp the other one the same way. And then we're going to be ready to assemble our cards. Okay, so here we have four and a quarter by five and a half inch top fold 110 pound Nina Classic Crest cardstock. Um, I am going to use some fun foam to pop this up off the front of our card base and then we're going to add some 3D mounting foam to the back of our umbrellas, adhere those to our card base and then we're going to add some embellishment. So I'm going to use some enamel dots in blues and I'm going to add those to our embossed background. I'm just going to do a few of them just to give it a little bit of color. And I'm also going to use sequins on the other background and we're just going to randomly place these. There's no method to the madness. Just put them wherever you feel like you need them. And that pretty much wraps it up. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and keep crafting.